What's up, you freaking genius days? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the equation of a line of best fit, all right? So we're gonna go over this word problem right here that's gonna help us out. So it says, the table shows us the weenus lengths in centimeters and heights in centimeters of several people. Does the data show a linear relationship? Okay, so let's just start there. Uh, so does this data over here show us a linear relationship? Uh, so here in the X column, we have weenus lengths, and in the Y, we have height, right? And just to clarify, a weenus is an elbow, right? Or more specifically, it's the skin on your elbow. So I want to make that clarification just in case your head is in the gutter, because there's literally nothing else this can represent, okay? So uh, the first thing we'd have to do to figure out if there's a, re a linear relationship between these two is just plot these two points, okay? These are all our X coordinates, and these are all our Y coordinates, right? So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to graph them, and I've just happened to magically graph these already. All right, so here's the graph right here. Okay, so here's all the points uh, from the, this table over here. So our x-axis over here is the weenus lengths, and then the y-axis over here is the height. Okay, and from all the points that we plotted, you can see that there's definitely a linear relationship, right? There's definitely a trend. All these points fall on about approximately the same line, right? If I just drew kind of a random line like that, you can see all the points are pretty close to this line, right? So that tells us that there's definitely a linear relationship right here. Okay, so uh, going back to the first question, does the data show a linear relationship? Yes, it definitely does, okay? Second part says, if so, write an equation of a line of fit, all right? Let's do that. So to write an equation of a line of best fit, the first thing we have to do is just draw a line through our points right here, and I'm gonna be a little more specific on how I draw it this time. Okay, so just grab something straight, a ruler, a book, a phone, maybe not something with an Elton John logo, and we're gonna draw a straight line, kind of like that, all right? That's pretty good. Okay, so again, you can still see all the points are really close to this line, right? Okay, so now we have to write the equation of this line right here. So the first thing we have to do is pick two points that this line runs through. And the two points I'm gonna pick are this one, since it's pretty clear where it is, right? It's at 40 and uh, looks like this is 170, right? So that point is at 40 comma 170. And then another point on this line, looks like this one's pretty clean also right here. It's at 50 and it looks like it's right between 200 and 190, so this is 195, right? So this is at 50, 195. Okay, and you'll see that these two points are over here also, right? It's the first one right here, 40, 170, that's the first point, and then the second one is 50, 195, okay? Now, that's the first thing we have to do. So just pick two points, and then the second thing we're gonna do is label these as x of one, y of one, and x of two, y of two. And the reason we have to do that is because now we have to figure out what the slope is. So if you don't remember what the equation of the slope is, it's the slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x, right? Or in other words, it's y of two minus y of one over x of two minus x of one, okay? So we have to figure out what our slope is here using our two points. So let's plug in what we have for y of two. So y of two is 195, right? Minus y of one is 170. And that's over x of two, which is 50, minus x of one, which is 40. Okay, so on top, we get 25. On the bottom, we get 10. And then 25 divided by 10 is equal to 2.5. Okay, so the slope of this line right here is 2.5. Okay, so that was basically the first part of this. So just picking two points and then finding the slope. And now the second part is writing the equation. And to do that, we need to use point slope form. And if you don't remember what that is, it's this equation right here. So it's y minus y of one is equal to m times x minus x of one in parentheses, okay? So then we're just gonna fill in uh, our y of one, our slope, and our x of one here, okay? So then this is gonna be y minus y of one uh, was 170, right? So 170 is equal to the slope times x minus x of one, which was 40. Okay, so now we're just gonna simplify this. So over here we have, uh, I'm gonna give myself a little room, so y minus 170 is equal to, uh, and then distributing this 2.5 into the parentheses, we're gonna get 2.5x minus uh, 100. Okay, 2.5 times 40 is 100. 
Okay, now we want to get this y by itself, so let's get this 170 over. So we're going to add 170 to both sides. Those cancel out, so then we're just left with y over here is equal to 2.5x, uh, looks like plus 70. Okay, so here is the equation of this line right here. y is equal to 2.5x plus 70. Okay, so we just finished this part right here. It says write an equation of a line of fit. All right, so that's what we just did, this one right here. And then it says, and use it to estimate the height of a person whose weenus is 35 centimeters long, okay? So we're gonna use this equation right here and figure out what the height is, right? Our height is y, so we need to figure out what y is when the height, or sorry, when the uh, weenus length right here is 35 centimeters long, okay? So it's giving us the weenus length, which is x, right? So it's telling us that x is equal to 35 right here. So we're gonna plug in 35 for x right here and see what we get for y, for the height, right? So then here we're gonna get y is equal to 2.5 times 35 centimeters plus 70, all right? So then y is equal to uh, 2.5 times 35 is equal to 87.5 plus 70. So then y is equal to 157.5 centimeters, all right? So whenever someone has a weenus length of 35 centimeters, that means their height is going to be approximately 157.5 centimeters. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.